One of the oldest and most recognizable buildings in the Oklahoma City landscape is approaching completion of a $4 million restoration. The old farmer's market is looking forward by building on a glorious past. Just to the west of downtown sits an Oklahoma City jewel. Standing out along the skyline sits a steel frame, Spanish colonial revival building with a history as rich as the city itself. It's the old farmer's market. It was in sad condition 10 years ago when it caught the eye of local boxing promoter Bert McAnally and his wife. And I was grousing to the realtor about lack of a good boxing venue, affordable good boxing venue in Oklahoma City, and he said, I've got the perfect one, the old Oklahoma City Farmer's Market. When we looked at the building and looked upstairs and I saw that 14,000 square foot expanse with a 12, 13,000 maple hardwood floor, I thought, perfect boxing venue. Now my fabulous business partner, which of course would be my wife, thought banquets, weddings, concerts, sporting events. The very first event in 1928 was three 10-round boxing matches. Today, they host a variety of attractions, from mixed martial arts to the rough and tumble roller derby. We've done roller derby, which has been really popular, and it's real fun. It's fun to come out and see. The crowd really gets into it. And it's, like I say, put a smile on your face. It's a versatile space, ideal for trade shows, art events, and they have lots of weddings here. It's often compared to the Canes Ballroom in Tulsa. We can one-up Canes in the sense that the ground that, we, that the building sits on is on the National Historic Register for a completely different reason. I mean, this is the site of the old Del Mar Gardens, the largest amusement park west of St. Louis that ran from 1903 to 1910. When it was built by cemetery developer John J. Harden, the market was intended to clear up the mess that farmers were creating along California Avenue. When it opened, Oklahoma City had one centralized place for farmers to sell their produce. The upstairs of the market was for events, mostly music. In the late 40s and, and 50s, this place was called Lindsay Land. Merle Lindsay had control of this building, and during that time, Frame, I mean every old country and western musician and their dog played here. You know, up to and including Hank Williams, Hank Thompson, Little Jimmy Dickens, Gentleman Jim Reeves, Bob Wills, all of them, all of them played here. The McAnally's have spent $2 million on upgrades, like new plumbing, electricity, hand-painted murals, and a new Spanish tile roof. This winter, they will refinish the ballroom's original wood floor. The next step is to put that final shine on the toe of the boot, so to speak, and paint the outside of the building. McAnally says the old market's restoration will be finished in time for what he hopes will be the redevelopment of the surrounding neighborhood. You know, I think the, I think the farmer's market is ripe for, this, in this area of town, is ripe for development. It, um, the farmer's market is not going to be another brick town. That's not its purpose. But, you know, the Riverfront Redevelopment Authority had a plan that they proffered forth in 2004 that called for a farmer's market district, with this be building being the salient architectural feature of the district, and called for it to be filled with retail shops and parks, very pedestrian-friendly. I would love to see that come to fruition. The market once sat isolated on the rough edge of Oklahoma City's west side. But development is moving closer, and planners say the building with the storied past may soon become the anchor of the next hot district downtown.